Cooper has a question. Should we show our buyer the agreement for deed calculator show his equity because he calculated his equity without interest. So it's a lot higher than the one from the agreement for deed calculator. Well, we do typically, Eric, include the agreement for deed calculator in the closing. So we give them, you know, sh showing exactly how we calculated their monthly payment. And we give them the full 40 year amortization so that they can see exactly how it works. And hey, we're no different than the banks are in terms of how the Elwood tables are applied to the application of the income that comes off of the loan. So the first payment, there's going to be a little bit that's going to go towards principal and the rest is going towards interest. And over time, every month, they're going to be incrementally increasing the amount that's going towards principal and decreasing the amount that's going towards interest. But it's going to take years for that to cross over. And so we use the Elwood tables exactly as the banks and mortgage companies use uh, for long-term mortgages. So um, there's nothing to hide there. They should see exactly what the, the game is and they can play that game however they want to. Yeah, well, we do the exact same thing on our agreement for deeds. We give them the full eight or nine pages worth of the 40-year calculator. The difference is, is that sometimes, um, first of all, you don't have to ask us for it. We give it to you. The banks will make you ask for it before they give it to you. <laughs> That's true. And even sometimes charge you a fee, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly.